fucking thermostat says negative seven degrees out right now. It is negative seven degrees. I can't do it, you guys. I can't do it. I get in my car. It's fucking freezing. After it had been running for 20 minutes, it's still fucking freezing because Tim had the heat down to 79. Not only that, but the window was cracked. <laughs> Super cool, right? Anyways, hello. I'm flirting today. Today, I had actually, because as y'all may have heard me mention before, I, oh my god, I'm freezing, so sorry not sorry if you can hear my heat, I can't turn it down. I'll turn it on the feet, maybe that'll help. Um, what was I saying? What was I talking about? Oh yes, uh, as y'all may or may not know, Tuesdays are my filming days, and I usually film, most of the time I film like all my videos for the week, well, I was sitting upstairs because I planned on filming like my 2017 favorites because I think I'm going to do uh, 17 favorites of 2017. That way it doesn't get out of control, you know, because a bitch can get out of control real easy. Um, this mount right here is like totally getting on my nerves. Fucking hashtag New Year's resolution. Find something to mount my camera on in my car. It's driving me nuts. Railroad. So anyways. <laughs> that was crazy, wasn't it? It was just a swing. I don't know how to get it up there any tighter. This sucks. And the roads are like super shitty. So it's just like swinging back and forth. So I am so sorry. But here's what happened. What happened was I was getting ready um, to film. And I got a text from my friend Josie. And she's like, yo, I'm going to Cosmoprof. Because she's taking me to Cosmoprof. Uh, which we had planned on like Saturday or something or Sunday. She's like, yo, I'm going to Prosma Cosmo Prosma Cop Cosmo Prof at twelve or ten fifteen today. And as I'm getting ready, it's like nine thirty and I was like, Oh fuck. Sir. I got ready real quick. I told bro I gotta go in and meet Josie and then Tim called me and he's like, Well why don't you stop at the grocery store so you don't have to go into town twice? And I was like fuck okay so i have to um go to cosmic prof and meet her and then go get some groceries i'm just gonna pick up a couple of things from the grocery store i'm not gonna go crazy because i don't even have like my list or anything like that ready so also new year new me i'm gonna start doing lists making lists and stuff i'm also gonna do a video about resolutions like new year's resolutions and then makeup resolutions um I'm gonna get my fucking desk calendar or what are they called? What are those things called? Planners. I'm gonna get a planner like I've been saying I've been going to do for the past six months. New Year's resolution number 732. I'm also going to become more of an organized person. Um, just because I can't take myself anymore. I can't deal with myself anymore. It looks so dark. I'm so sorry, you guys. Hopefully it looks better once I bring it up into the editing room. But this, I'm filming this right now just in case after I go meet Josie and go there and after I go to the store, just in case I would not have time to film tonight because the thing is, is Aiden um, got into a spelling bee for school and over Christmas break he was supposed to be studying his spelling words over Christmas break and I, I got to look at the paper in his book bag um, but I don't I don't know when they start like testing them for it so there was only four people in his class or in his like his school is so big that they split the there's like 500 kids in his um, what's it called uh, class, I guess, in the sixth grade, there's like 500 kids, which I know doesn't seem like a lot, but for our like little area, it is. So, 500 kids in the sixth grade, so they split them between classes. There's like the A class and the B class, and they have each class has a complete separate uh, group of teachers, too. So, they picked four, I think they picked four kids from each class, or maybe two kids from each class. It might have just been two kids from like each A and B, um, but Aiden got into it. So he's super excited about it and Christmas break we've just kind of been like super fucking off. <laughs> and he hasn't studied his words like at all. 
So I want to make sure that I like help him study tonight. We're gonna make some flashcards tonight of words because like he's so smart. Like he has like a photographic memory. Like he can remember things, especially spelling stuff. He's so good at remembering them. So I think if I just make some flashcards and go over it a few times, I mean I think it'll be good because a lot of the words aren't even that hard. A lot of them are like a little bit confusing, but they're not like super hard or anything. So I think he'll do really good because Aiden, I mean, not to toot my own horn or not to toot Bro's horn, but when Aiden was in, I think it was third grade, he was reading at a 10th grade level. So he's just like really good with like reading and words and stuff like that. So pretty dope. So where was I going with that? Oh yes, um, in case I don't have time to film like a physical video tonight, then that's what I'll be doing is, um, or because that's what I'll be doing is helping him. So just in case I don't have time. Uh, New Year's resolution number 875. Uh, I'm gonna start filming while Tim's home. I've just, I've been doing it a few times lately just because he's, been coming home early from work a lot, especially like as Aiden's been home for Christmas break. So, um, Tim's back to work tomorrow or today, and he's got like a lot of jobs going on, so um, he won't be coming home early. But in case he does, I'm just gonna film while he's there. He doesn't listen to me, anyways. I need to just fucking get over myself. New Year's resolution number 632 get over the phone phobia, get some fucking Botox. New Year's resolution number 512. I don't remember what 512 was. <laughs> Obviously I got a lot of them, huh? I know some people don't like doing New Year's resolutions, but I do, okay? So anyways, um, yeah, so I'm gonna start filming when Tim's alone because I don't give a fuck. Meaning, I'm gonna start filming at nighttime, even though I don't really care for the lighting. Um, I might buy some more lighting just so I'm able to like film at nighttime. I'm sorry if my camera's just a swinging back and forth. I just can't help it. Uh, what time is it? Oh fuck, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. I'm actually going into Cosmoprof because I am gonna get some shit to do my hair because my friend just seems like she's really busy right now. So I'm just gonna like say fuck it and do it myself. So, um, we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully she can fix it if I fuck it up, but she'll be pissed. Like, why did you do that? But anyways, so that's why we're going to Cosmic Prof with my team ups. Um, so I am getting ready to pull up now, so I'm gonna get off here so Joseph doesn't think I'm a fucking weirdo rolling up in here with a camera hanging off of my uh, <laughs> rear view mirror. But anyways, I will talk to you guys here in a little bit. Lighting is so much better, kind of. I should know better than to use Intelligent Auto. I need to <coughs> only use Aperture Priority. I'm out of Cosmoprof. I was in there, I was like, I'm totally leaving my fucking car running because my car was super cold. And then we ended up being in there for like 40 minutes or something. <laughs> Uh, Josie's like, dude, your car's been running this whole fucking time. I was like, I know, and I'm like so low on gas. I have literally 17 miles left on my gas tank, and I left my car running like a dumbass. So anyways, um, <clears throat> so I went in and got, I had intentions of getting, well, I was looking around, and I don't know, I was trying to search what the best lighteners are, and it's so hard to figure out, like, what the best ones are, because so many there's just everyone's so indifferent you know everybody likes their own shit so i just went ahead and got um the guy tang one i originally was going to get Schwarzkopf because i read a lot of reviews and heard that Schwarzkopf was a really good lightener that Schwarzkopf color is really good um i originally went in there thinking i wanted to get like the guy tang stuff and i couldn't i didn't see it anywhere because normally they have it by kenra because guy tang uses a lot of kenra um i think he might be like affiliated with him. I know he had a color line through him at one point before he came out with his own stuff. I must have hit my hand on something. It fucking hurts and there's like a lump on it or something. But anyways, um, so he must have had, or he had a color range with him, but maybe they dropped that since he's got his own color now. I don't know. So we're looking around, looking around and I'm getting all the stuff from Schwarzkopf, Schwarzkopf and 
then we went down like the supplies aisle and there it was like all his my identity shit so I was like oh, oh fuck this is what I was looking for so I went ahead and got a root color that was hit through Guy Tang and I got which was way cheaper and way smaller because I don't need that big shit unfortunately it's a professional shop so everything's big um, but I really don't need I'm so sorry my camera's like swinging everywhere I got to adjust that um, I don't need it's probably making people fucking sick I don't need like that volume of stuff you know what I mean like I don't need that much and his powder lightener um, which is normally what I use I'm, I got the cream lightener lightener even though I've never used a cream lightener before um, his powder lightener is $40 and he only has one size and I was like I'm getting a fucking Olaplex kit which is $65 so I'm not gonna spend another $40 getting this powder lightener so I just went ahead and got a cream one and that one was um, I think like 15 or 20 so it wasn't as bad Oh shit, there's a spot right there. I just missed it. Let me back it up. Back it up. Now I'm at the grocery store. Um, hold on. Let me let me pull in here and then I'll talk to you guys because it's just my camera's flying everywhere. As I was saying, I got the cream lightener because the powder was just like way too expensive and like this fucking big. So I was like, um, I don't need that. And I got the guy tang stuff because I always watch his videos. So Hopefully, I bought a color remover. Um, I was going to get the Kenra one, but then Josie said that our friend Jen likes this one from Rusk really well, and it works really well for her. So I'm going to try that first because I've got um, some parts of my hair where my it's like my roots and then like a darker color and then a lighter color, but just from like the hair dye growing out. But I want to keep the original color of my roots because... I don't want to have to touch it up as often you know what I mean I will, would love to eventually get to like a silvery color because I got so much fucking gray in my hair that if I could get to like a gray maybe just maybe the natural grays in my hair will come off as a highlight is what I'm hoping <laughs> like when my roots grow in grow in so that way I can grow down like balayage or something I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do I just don't want to be one of those bitches that like got real crazy and tried a fashion color and decided to try like silver and you can't tell whether the bitch is 60 or 20 you know what I'm saying I seen this one girl at this like conference thing that we went to for work and we were like is she older or is she younger but just with silver hair <laughs> you know what I mean uh, that's such a funny thing to say if you guys knew the real me you'd think I was raging biatch anyways I'm gonna get up in the grocery store now so that way um I can get my ass home so maybe I could possibly film I'm definitely gonna have to redo my makeup because I look like a shit I don't like to wear my makeup for more than like an hour or two during the span of filming time you know what I mean like I will not wear my makeup all day and then come home and film because I look like fucking ass because my skin's so dry that especially with it being negative 100 out my skin's so fucking dry right now that I come home I look like a shriveled up old prune so I'm gonna have to wash my face again and redo my shit anyways okay I will talk to you guys when I get back New Year's resolution number 632 be a better person I just let somebody out in front of me that's my contribution. There you go. Coming up on some railroad tracks. Our roads are so bad. I tried to fix my little fucking ghetto ass mount on my camera. God, these roads are like so bad. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, I did not realize like how much stuff I actually had to do today because I guess I just didn't think about the fact that yesterday was New Year's Day, so like nothing was open. And I wasn't going out on New Year's Day any goddamn ways. It was like negative 12 yesterday, even though like it's not negative 12 today, uh, cause it is, um, with the wind chill and everything. But I didn't want to go out yesterday. I didn't realize that yesterday was Monday and that's when I like do all my shit. I, um, Sunday tried to like go around, clean the house and do all that stuff so I could have everything done. Or I mean Monday, yesterday I guess. I tried to clean the house and do all that shit so I could have everything done so I'd be able to film all day today. And then I'm like, fuck, I gotta go to the grocery store. 
I have to get dog food. Aiden wants me to go to fucking Panera Bread and get him bagels because he likes the, oh God, this parking lot though. He likes the, um, oh, what's it called? The cinnamon crunch bagels from Panera Bread. So he wants me to go to Panera Bread and get him bagels, but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna tell him that they were out when I went there because I have to go all the way back to Panera Bread and then I gotta get gas. I just remembered that we're out of dog food, so I gotta go to Petco and get dog food and then go home, put my groceries away, um, help him study, and I wanna get my hair done tonight. I just have so much stuff. I didn't realize how much stuff I have to do today and I don't wanna like put any more late videos up because I've already like fucked you guys over with that so I know there's quite a few of you that are like just put them up when you can get them up we don't care about a schedule but for me I have to do it for me or I will not like stay on task so and now I'm at um the health food store I wanted to come to the health food store and get vegetable caps I guess is what they're called like little pill caps or whatever because um I think I'm gonna start taking kratom again just because I've been like really low on energy and I think a lot of me being low on energy has to do with the fact that I have been eating like shit lately and like totally not taking care of myself. New Year's resolution number 726, back on keto, back to the gym, back to taking care of myself because I just am like treating my body like a piece of shit lately and I think that's a lot of, a lot to do with my energy so, um, but I am going to start taking keto again. I took some yesterday and Tim's friend, Tim like went and helped his friend do something yesterday and he was telling him like, oh, have you ever heard of Kratom and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah, Nikki takes that. She doesn't take it very often though. And he was like, oh, I put it in, cause Tim was like, how do you take it? Because it tastes disgusting. He's like, oh, I just put it in gel caps or whatever. And I was like, oh, why did I never think of that? And just like take it in pill form? I'm stupid. I don't know why I never thought of that. So I'm gonna run up in here into Planet Health. Um, oh yeah, I also have to stop by Walmart because the one thing I totally forgot to get when I was in Cosmoprof was like clips for my hair to like clip my hair back into sections as I'm dyeing it. <sighs> so I gotta run into Walmart and get some clips. Jesus, everybody just coming to the health food store today. Um, I gotta do that too and get gas. Did I mention I have to get gas? I don't remember. All right, I am gonna get in here because this chick that is pulling up beside me thinks I'm weird. Okay, okay, I got my gel caps. Got my gel caps. Jesus, my lips have been so chapped. I feel like as soon as the fucking hair hits a hair, <laughs> as soon as the air hits them, they just like freeze instantly and turn to shit. Off to the gas station. And now I'm going to the gas station. I don't know if I ever finished what I said about my hair color. Did I say I have to go to Walmart and get clips? I think I did. Did I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. I don't remember. But anyways, I got these little gel caps to put my quite a in. God oh, damn it! Dude, can I fucking tell you guys something? So I live in a town that has a college that is one of the best high performance auto colleges or has one of the best high performance auto, um, what are they called? Like classes, fucking, what are they called? Programs, <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for, programs. Um, one of the best high performance auto programs like in the country, okay? So because of that, you have all these fucking idiots running around in their high performance cars, speeding through the fucking streets with their double, triple, quadruple fucking mufflers, loud as fuck, blowing smoke all up your ass. It drives me insane. They drive like fucking lunatics. I cannot fucking stand it when I've got my kid in the car. Whatever, if you want to smack into me and like fuck me up, but you fuck me up while my kid is in the car, somebody's going down. I'm getting out of this motherfucker and sl slamming heads. I'm telling you what. I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm a stuttery bitch today. I don't know why. I'm so thirsty. Why didn't I get something to drink at Myers? I don't know. Oh my God. I have got to go get my nails done. These are still glue-ons. They look like fucking complete and utter shit. And tomorrow I know they're just gonna break all the fuck off because I work from 
7 to 11 tomorrow doing planograms, so I know I'm just gonna snap them all off anyways. <sighs> what side is my gas pump on? It's on this side. I'm sorry for all the bouncy bounce. So, health food store, check. Next up is Walmart, check. Then Petco, check. Then check my ass at home. Thank God. Let me go pump my fucking gas rush quick. Jesus Christ, it's fucking cold. And I gotta stand out there. It's not like I can just swipe, choose, go. Tim Scott, I use a company card for gas and it fucking, you have to put the odometer number in, then you have to put the driver number in, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm gonna stop. New Year's resolution number 436. No more bitching. Promised myself I wouldn't bitch. I am done. I'm a rude bitch though. Like, did I even ask you guys how your New Year's was? I don't think I did. What the fuck? I am super rude. How was your New Year's? Happy fucking New Year. Jesus. My mind's going in so many directions. I can't even think of what I'm thinking about. So, did you guys have a really good New Year's? I hope so. Did you party hearty? I wanna rock and roll all night and party every day. What is moving in that little box over there? Oh, it's a fan. <laughs> Must be like a heater fan. Anyways, um, ADD. I had a pretty decent New Year's. We just spent it with family. We had. Tim's parents come over, and my mom and her boyfriend come over, um, and we literally just played board games. I literally, literally rang in the new year cleaning up dog shit. No lie. <laughs> like, it was like, 11.59, there's only a minute left, and I'm like scrubbing dog shit off of my carpet, because my mom's dog, wow, that was quick, why did it stop? My mom's dog um, kept eating, because she brought her dog over, and she gets along so well with Stubby and Floyd, but she kept eating their dog food, and we think her dog, their dog food gave her the shits, because she shit like three or four times, poor little Tang. Hold on, let me take my pump out. Damn! Either gas is hella high, which I don't think it is. It's not that high, it's 238. I was gonna say, either gas is hella high, or I was real fucking low, because it took $40 to fill up my car. I haven't put $40 in my car in months. Like, it hasn't taken $40 to fill up my car, and I can't even fucking remember the last time it went over like 30 some dollars. So I must have been real fucking low, girl. Real low. <laughs> I really hope that this vlog isn't a fucking disaster. Like, hopefully it's watchable, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Look at this motherfucking cupie dough. Jesus Christ. This, like, burger joint that we have that is only in our town and, like, one town in Michigan is fucking constantly packed. It's, like, 1239 and they're lined up down the road. I don't know what you guys are going to be able to see them, but... They're like lined up down the road. It gets fucking crazy as fuck there. Same thing at nighttime. And all it is is like this flat ass little patty with some cheese on it. That's all it is. That's all it is. They do use um, Colby beef. Is that what it's called? Is that what they use? That doesn't sound right because isn't Colby beef the kind that's like super crazy expensive? Maybe that's why the patties are so flat. But I think they use like Colby beef. I don't know. They use some special kind of fucking cow meat. I don't know what it is, but people go nuts for it. Just crazy nuts, girl. Oh, did I tell you guys? I don't think I told you guys. Um, if I mentioned this in this vlog already, I'm so sorry. Sorry, not sorry. You guys are right now. What's up with me? Um, we are gonna go look at a house Thursday. I'm so excited. We're actually, okay, so here's the dilly. My realtor is in Tennessee. My realtor lives in Tennessee now, but she contacted us and said, hey, um, I got a house, which I'm assuming like we haven't really had words with her since she moved, but I'm assuming she's probably gonna just try and find us shit and then refer us to another realtor to actually like go through the house and stuff, but she's gonna get the sale. She'll probably give like some kind of percentage to whoever's showing the house. And, you know, she'll do all the, like, back work and stuff. But anyways, so 
she texted him and was like, yo, I got this house um, in the neighborhood that you wanted. It's a foreclosure. It's 120,000. It's this huge ass four bedroom, um, two and a half bath, I think, house. It is two story, which we were not like wanting a two story house, but it is two story. Um, but she said that, and the house is kind of fucked up, obviously, because it's in foreclosure. So it's like kind of a fucked up house. Like just by looking at the pictures, it looks like all the interiors that they used are insanely cheap. Like the trim is all that cheap ass plastic that like looks like wood, but it's plastic. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's what it looks like on the inside. So but the last time it sold, when it sold like in decent condition, which has been years ago, but it sold for like 180 something. So she said, because it's a foreclosure, you may be able to get money on top of um, your loan to pay for it in order to restore it. So I was like, oh, sit. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about that a little bit. Cause I told Tim, if we could just get like 50 grand to put into the house, we could turn it into like a, oh shit, I left my fucking gas can open. We could turn it into like a super badass house and then just flip it and then build a house. You know what I mean? So I don't know. We're going to go look at it and see what kind of potential it has. Like we're fucking Jeff Lewis or something, but we're going to go look at it and see like what kind of potential it has <laughs> and see if there's anything we can do and kind of research it and look into it and see if that's like an actual possibility um is buying it living in it for like a couple of years and flipping it so we'll see we'll see girl cross your fingers 2018 it's my year god damn it it's my year it's gonna be good this year is positive and good okay let me get into the pet store real quick and then I'm gonna run to Walmart because Walmart, Walmart's just right there. So there's no need for me to get on a vlog again or it's just gonna be like flip, flip, flip. Um, so I'm gonna go to the pet store and then to Walmart and I'll see you guys when I see ya. Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. It's so thick. Oh my God, it's so fucking cold out. It like hurts your soul when you walk out into it. It is insanity. It hurts my face, it hurts my soul, it hurts it all. It hurts it all. And I couldn't get my scarf right. My hands were freezing. I didn't wear my gloves in like a dumbass. I'm really, really dreading taking these groceries in right now because it's a real fucking cold out there. Real fucking cold. So anyways, um, what was I talking about? I think I was talking about our house. So hopefully we I looked at the pictures online. Um and it doesn't look bad. Like there's a room in the house where it's like vaulted, where the ceiling's vaulted. And from the looks of it, it looks like there's kind of like two living rooms when you walk in, like a living room and then a vaulted room. And I can't tell whether or not that's open to the kitchen or not. But if it is, if it is open to the kitchen, we could totally like take that wall out in that center and just open the entire downstairs up. So we'll see when we look at it. You can't really get um, a good representation of it uh, just by the pictures. Like the the pictures are really bad. That it doesn't like represent what the house actually looks like because it's a pretty big house. It's like 2,000 and some square feet. So it's a pretty decent sized house. So we can't he, we can't he. So it would be fucking awesome to get that house for 120 grand and then get some motherfucking money to put into it. Like take out a loan for like 160, 170, which still isn't a bad loan. Um, and drop 50 grand into that mofo. First things first, I would redo the floors, redo the cabinets, take that fucking wall out, um, redo all the floors. And basement can come, you know, come later, or not at all. I mean, I would like to finish the basement, but I'm sure it would like, you know, up the resale value, but who knows. But I think, did I mention that it sold at one point in time years ago for like 180 grand, but it's such a big house. If you really put some time into it and showed it a little bit of love and caring and caressness, caress it just right, 
you could probably get like 200 grand out of it because I feel like in our area, I mean, I've looked at a shit ton of houses and of all the houses we've looked at, I've found one modernized house that wasn't like primitive decor or rustic decor, you know what I mean? So I think people in this area are wanting to lean towards modern but they just don't know how to do it and they just can't find houses that are with like you know what i mean just like different colors what do i want to say neutrals that's what i want to say with like a lot of neutral colors stainless steel appliances or black stainless steel um you know different colored window trims like colored window trims like i seen this one kitchen that jeff lewis did with like a had like a, I don't know what that's called, Con I don't know if it's called concrete countertops or cement countertops, whatever the fuck it was, and black trim. Oh my God, it looked so fucking dope. So I would want to do it up like real, real fucking dope because you could get a lot of money out of it if you did that. My friend Josie just bought a house that they're wanting to like redo too, so she's super excited they've been looking for a house for almost as long as we have i'm a little bit jealous <laughs> that they got to find a house and he's delight he's joining me now but i got a feeling this spring i can feel it in my bones it's going to be this spring just sucks that we have to like sit through this winter because even though our house is like you know getting to the point where we're comfortable being in it and not like oh my god I hate this fucking house even though cosmetically it doesn't look bad the bones of the house are just awful like it's so fucking cold in our house right now we have our heat on 75 well it was yesterday I think I might have turned it back down um because I'm like I can't leave my heat on 75 my gas bill is going to be 600 dollars uh, sorry about the bumpiness, it's a little bit aussie. Um, so we have our heat on 75 and we got two space heaters going and it's still cold as fuck. Like you cannot walk around because we usually like walk around the house in slides. Like I have to have socks on with my slides. Like you cannot walk around barefoot. It's fucking cold girl real fucking cold. And then every time we you know gotta let our dogs out we let our dogs out the back door. Every time we let our dogs out, it's like freezing. And then it gets cold again for like another hour or two before it actually warms back up. Cause our house is like, there's no foundation. Um, the insulation is probably the same insulation that was put in fucking 30, 40 years ago. It's fucking crazy. So it's just a little bit cold, just a little bit cold. So hopefully we can get past this. We will get past it. Not hopefully we can. We'll get past it. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, so anyways, so I think, oh, I forgot to tell you guys too, the house that we're going to look at has a really decent size yard. So that's cool because we can fence in the yard for the dogs, which would allow them, because our dogs get put on a tie out right now. Sometimes, like when the neighbor's home, we put Hoyt on one, but when she's not home, he can just go out by himself because he doesn't take off. But Stubby will take off. But for some reason, we fucking hates our neighbor. So when she's home, we gotta put him on a tie out. So our dogs would like love to not have to be on a tie out. Like Stubby would die if he could just like run around multiple times a day. I mean, they do run around the tie outs 50 foot long. So it's not like they're like, you know, a six foot long tie out tied to a tree or something. Our tie out's 50 feet long. So we got a huge ass yard, but still it would be nice for him to be able to like run somewhere without having to jerk on the chain you know what i mean so we'll see we'll look at it and see i got a good feeling about it though a real good feeling girl i just have a feeling i don't know why i just have a feeling that this house here is just all gonna work out and we're gonna remodel it and then we're gonna go live in it for like two years and then we're gonna build our own house while we live in that house. That would be amazing, amazing. That would be awesome. So, um, that's what 
that's what's up. I think I'm gonna end this vlog because I know it's probably long because I've been bouncing off here. This is already at eight minutes. So yeah, this vlog is probably like two hours fucking long. I might have to cut some down. But I hope you guys had a really good new year. Um, I will be back on Thursday with what? I'm not really sure yet. I'm probably gonna do um, my 17 favorites of 2017. Hopefully I'll have time to film Thursday because I gotta work Wednesday morning, so I don't know. New Year's resolution number 327. Find some fucking time. I feel like I'm always in a hurry because I'm always trying to like do all this stuff and I just want to not be in a hurry anymore because I want to go to the gym but then it's like when do I film and when do I clean and when do I do this like it's so hard because of my house like it's I'm sure some of you are like bitch like why I'm very meticulous when it comes to cleaning like I do not like my house to be dirty my kitchen I have two giant dogs that shed like fucking nothing you've ever seen in your life I have to sweep my furniture off every day I don't sweep my furniture off every day just saying I do about every other day I have to sweep my kitchen every day there is no ventilation in my bathroom so I have to wipe the toilets down and the sink down every day um, the mirror is literally like this far away from the fucking sink so I have to wipe toothpaste off of my mirror every day <laughs> like there's just certain shit that I do, and if I let it go and don't do it, it drives me insane. Like, it drives me fucking nuts. I used to, there for a couple years or so, it's gonna be real bouncy because we're in the driveway, BT dubs. There for a couple of years ago, or there for a couple of years or so, I just kind of said fuck it and let it go and it was when I first started like getting into my YouTube channel and I would totally put YouTube before anything and it wasn't cool because my house was a mess all the time like I wasn't getting shit done you know what I mean just like not taking care of my house and it just looked like shit all the time so I just had to like get out of that and be like okay this is your shit right here it'd be a different story if I was getting paid hundreds and hundreds of, or even thousands of dollars a month for YouTube but I'm not as I've told you guys um, many a time uh, YouTube's not a job for me it's a hobby that pays me about uh, one to two hundred dollars a month and that's it <laughs> so if it was a job I would definitely fucking bust it out but you know, it's just an enjoyment. It's a hobby. It's something I like to do. So, I love making videos and talking to you guys. I just don't always have the time to do it. And it's not, I know I come on here and like bitch a lot about not being able to film or not having time to film. And it's not that I don't want to. It's just that I physically do not have time is what it boils down to. So, just so you guys know that. So anyways, okay, I'm gonna go take my groceries in and fucking probably I'm gonna guess okay so I am gonna go take my groceries in and more than likely die of hypothermia <laughs> that's hashtag not kidding hashtag not kidding Okay, so I will see you guys on Thursday with my favorite rights video. Leave any video requests below just because, I guess. New year, new me. I'm doing fuck taking requests up in here in the DJ booth. What up? Spinning on the ones and twos. <laughs> I watched. <laughs> I watched this video of Mike, Mike Falzone. If you guys don't know who Mike Falzone is, you have to go watch him. He's fucking hilarious. He was like, DJ demonetized on once and two summary. <laughs> oh my God, it was fucking hilarious. He's so fucking funny. I wish I was as funny as him. I'm just a little bit funny, but not as funny as him. Okay, so I need to shut the fuck up and get off here. So I will see you guys on Thursday. Have a happy new year. New year, new you. Yeah.